Hello everyone, welcome to day 23 of 30 days, 30 tips on productivity. Please like the videos that you like the content of. Please leave me comments about what you liked, what you didn't like, what were missing in my videos so that I can create more content for you. And please subscribe to this channel so that you can be notified of upcoming videos, tips, and tricks. Today we are continuing with the topic of ADHD and how to keep productive if you are on the spectrum of attention deficit somehow, like myself. Yesterday, I already shared four tips with you. Today, I will share four other tips. So without further ado, tip number five, create micro tasks. Many people think they understand when uh, others say, oh, yeah, divide tasks into smaller chunks. But really, they don't understand how small these chunks should be, especially for people like us who are struggling with concentrating and putting their focus onto something and to get started with a certain task. When I talk about microtasking, I really mean tiny, tiny, tiny tasks so tiny that it would take maybe 15 minutes maybe 20 minutes for you to do something tip number six single tasking it's so important people like us we think that we can multitask everything we can listen to music write an article while reading stuff and googling things and in the meantime talking with our colleague and uh, like chatting on WhatsApp, please don't do that. I know it is painful to single task. I'm trying to manage that pain every single day, but it is so much more productive to just sit and go through that pain of single tasking for 20 minutes instead of being all over the place to uh, accomplish that 20 minutes worth of work in two hours. Tip number seven. This is linked to tip number five from the beginning of this video. Aim for a complete first draft, then try to go to a like, final version in one go. People like us, we need to take sometimes more iterations to get to a certain result. So give yourself the time, the space to do that. Don't try to write one sentence that is perfect and then you can move on from it forever. You might need to start from one keyword that would turn into maybe something like a bullet point, which would then turn into a sentence or two. And finally, tip number eight, be flexible. There are lots of discussions around whether batching uh, certain tasks is a better idea or to keep your day uh, varied with lots of different tasks. I can't tell you which one is better because personally, I experience them working and not working on some days. On a certain day, I can really start the day and until I finish my work day, I can uh, work on one single type of task let's say writing but on other days it's just impossible I may be able to do that for half an hour or an hour or two hours but then I have to move on to something else because it just doesn't work so be flexible account for both possibilities so that when the state of your mind on that day doesn't suit your calendar that you set up in advance you can change things up a bit you can move some tasks around and you can still accomplish things by the end of the day i do hope that these tips help you please let me know if they help whether you are employing any of these techniques yourself and please let me know if you are doing something else that is helping you with your ADHD brain to stay productive I would love to know that 
Tomorrow I'll be back with another tip. Until then, mind your own revisions. <laughs>